Welcome to the Scola Club House on the Phonics Road, where we learn to be great spellers following the building codes. Tools for English, letters and the teams, how we build them, here say, right, read, why we build them, sing the rules with me. Join us at the Scola Club House on the Phonics Road. Welcome to the Scola Club House on the Phonics Road. Hi, everybody. This is Miss Holly from the Scola Clubhouse. I'm here with some of my friends to help you learn and practice the rule tunes. Hi! Hi. With the Phonics Road, you are learning to build the English language the same way a carpenter builds a house. The letters and letter teams are tools to build words. Rule tunes provide the reason why you build words the way you do. So we are going to practice them so that you become a great speller. When we begin building words in week five, you learn that A, E, O, and U usually say their names at the end of a syllable. When we sing it, it sounds like this. A, E, O, and U usually say their names at the end, at the end of a syllable. Emma, can you tell me why the word me is built the way it is? Yes, Miss Holly. A, E, O, and U usually say their names at the end, at the end of a syllable. Very good. Now let's sing it all together. A, E, O, and U. Now you sing with us. A, E, O, and U usually say their names at the end, at the end of the syllable. A, E, O, and U usually say their names at the end, at the end of the syllable. Miss Holly, I know another rule that lets a vowel say its name. What rule is that, Meeks? O and I may say their names when followed by two consonants, like the word old. That's right, Meeks. Do you know a song for that? I sure do. O and I may say their names when followed by two consonants. Great! Let's all sing that together. Oh, and I may say their names when followed by two consonants. Oh, and We spend all of week 24 learning three suffix rules, and they all have the same tune. The first rule we learn is on building code 11, and we say one-syllable words that end with a vowel and consonant double the final consonant before a vowel suffix. When we sing it, it sounds like this. One-syllable words that and with a vowel and consonant, double the final consonant before a vowel suffix. Now everybody sing with me. One syllable words that and with a vowel and consonant, double the final consonant before a vowel suffix. Let's sing that again. 
One syllable works that end with a vowel and a consonant. Double the final consonant before a vowel suffix. At the end of week 24, we learn that words ending in one of the silent final E's are written without the E when adding a vowel suffix. When we sing it, it sounds like this. Words ending in one of the silent final E's are written without the E when adding a vowel suffix. Now everybody sing with me. Words ending in one of the silent final E's are written without the E when adding a vowel suffix. Let's sing that again. Words ending in one. 